by the Tedeschi Trucks Band is going to be played in open E tuning. If you don't know how to do that, you leave your sixth string at an E, your fifth string gets tuned up to a B, your fourth string gets tuned up to an E, your third string gets tuned up to a G sharp, your second string remains at a B, and your first string remains at a B. So what we've done is we've taken strings 5, 4, and 3 and tuned them up so that they are naturally at what is usually an E major shape, but uh, now to get that sound instead of playing that chord formation, you just play the strings open, and it's an open E major. The intro chords for Anyhow are going to be an E major, which you'll just play by strumming the open strings, a G, and then an A. The way that you make the G is you're going to put your second finger on the sixth string third fret, ring finger on the third string third fret, and then anything that you're not fretting, you can just let ring open. And then for the A, take this exact same shape and slide it up two frets, so that now you're on the fifth fret and this is your A shape. Uh, the strumming pattern that will happen across this, the whole song is being finger picked and also of course it's being played on an electric, but I can never get my electric to sound like Derek Trucks and then I get frustrated because I realize how amazing his tone is and how terrible mine is, so I figured don't even try, just play it on an acoustic. So playing on an acoustic, it's much more difficult to fret a lot of these chords that we'll be learning, but if you want to play it on electric, that's actually how it's being played and it will be easier to fret these chords as well. So the strumming pattern. That's the strumming pattern that is taking place across these intro chords. So you've got an E, and then you hammer on into the G, and then you pull up into the A, and then you come back down to the G, and then he pulls back up to the A really fast, and then back down to the G, and then pulls off to the E. So very slowly, that's sounding like. And those intro chords repeat through a couple times before it kicks into the main riff. After Derek Trucks plays the intro chords of E, G, and A, the last time before it goes into the main riff, uh, the first set of notes that he hits for the main riff sounds to be like the top three strings of the guitar as an E, the highest three strings, and then immediately goes to the open fourth string, open fourth string, hit that open, and then go with your second finger to the fifth string third fret. I pluck that with my thumb, uh, the open fourth string I tend to pluck with my second finger. So we've got high strings, open four with my second finger um, on my right hand, and then my left hand, second finger goes down to the fifth string third fret, and then open four string again, and then fretted fifth string on the third fret. So we've got, and then back to the fifth string, and then you're going to, with your first finger on the fourth string, you'll strike uh, the four string open again, but with your first finger you will then quickly hammer on to the four string second fret and pull off to reveal again the open four string, and that's going to sound like. And then after the hammer on and pull off, you'll go right back to the fifth string third fret. So we've got. After hammering back down into the fifth string third fret, you'll hit the open four string again, and then now you'll hit the low six string and repeat the same um, repeat that same riff. You're not going to hit the high strings again. You're now going to be hitting the six string as your low root, and it repeats.
When vocals come in for the verse, Derek Trucks moves to a C sharp minor. And the way that you're going to play that in open tuning is you're going to put your second finger on the fifth string second fret. And then you'll leave everything else open. So that's the riff that he's playing there. He hammers in to the fifth string second fret by plucking the open fifth string with his thumb and then hammer on with your second finger to the fifth string second fret. And then you immediately you hit the open second string with your second finger and then come down to the open third string with your first finger and then the open first string with your second finger and then back to the open second string and then you're going to do a quick little hammer on with your ring finger to the second string second fret and then pull it off and then you'll hit the open third string that coming together very slowly is but it's a bit quicker than that. The third time through, uh, the third time through that riff, instead of repeating it, uh, instead of repeating through to the hammer on, it hammers on with second and third fingers to the second fret and does that. So hammer on with your second and third fingers to the second fret of strings five and two. And I'm plucking with my right hand the five string and the two string. And then you slide the shape up to the third fret and then immediately back down to the second fret. And then you pull them both off before going back into the main riff of. So that hammer on, once you hammer on, the rest of the sound or the rest of the tone and the rhythm is being carried just by the the quick slide up and slide back down and pull off. You're not actually plucking again with your right hand. And then immediately back into the E node. So again, the verse. sound that you're going for on that C-sharp minor whenever you do the quick, uh, the quick little pull-up. Towards the back half of the verse, uh, Derek Trucks goes back to this C-sharp minor chord where you've got your second finger on the fifth string, second fret, and ring finger on the second string, second fret. And then it moves into something of a C chord, not a C chord, a D chord is what this would be in this tuning. So put your ring finger on the fifth string third fret, put your pinky finger on the second string third fret, and put your first finger on the third string first fret, and you can leave everything else open. I'm really just plucking though the fifth string, the second string, and the third string. So you're going from a C sharp minor to a D, and then it goes back into the main riff of before moving into the pre course. And the pre course is going to be this is operating as an F sharp minor. You're going to put your, is it an F sharp minor? Yeah, that's an F sharp minor. Uh, you're going to put your second finger on the sixth string, second fret, and your first finger on the third string, first fret, and everything else that's not fretted can ring open. So it goes F sharp minor. And then you're going to go to a G chord. The way that that G chord is made is Derek Trucks just bars across the third fret with his ring finger. And then it goes back to this D chord. Uh, ring finger to the fifth string, third fret. Pinky finger on the second string, third fret. First finger on the third string, first fret. And that's the pre chord. So F sharp minor. G, D. Okay, so now we're to the chorus, the chorus chords. You're 
gonna start on a G sharp minor is what this chord is, I believe. You're gonna put your ring finger on the sixth string fourth fret, you'll put your pinky finger on the second string fifth fret, and then you'll put your first finger on the third string third fret. And anything that's not fretted can ring out in these chords and it should be okay. So after the G sharp minor, you're then going to move to a version of an A chord. You're going to bar with your first finger across the fifth fret and put your ring finger down on the fourth string seventh fret. And that's the chord that Derek Trucks was playing there is the second chord of the chorus. The third chord of the chorus is going to be a version of a G chord. You're going to bar across the third fret with your first finger, put your pinky finger on the second string fifth fret. So that is the third chord of the chorus. And then the fourth chord of the chorus, you're going to leave your pinky finger where it's at on the second string fifth fret, but then lower your bar one fret. And that's kind of a stretch of a chord. This is operating now like an F sharp. So you've got first chord of the chorus, second chord of the chorus, third chord of the chorus, fourth chord of the chorus, and then that repeats. Um, in the last chorus, it changes for the last round so that after this F sharp major chord, instead of going back to the G sharp minor, it actually comes up to a C sharp minor. And that's how the C sharp minor will get played. You'll run up to the ninth fret with your ring finger. Put your ring finger on the sixth string ninth fret, pinky finger will be on the 2nd string ninth fret, 2nd finger will go to the 8th fret of the 3rd string, and then your 1st finger will be on the 7th fret of the 4th string. So that's the C sharp minor. After the C sharp minor it goes to an A major where you just bar the 5th fret of uh, the guitar. So C sharp minor to an A, then to an E major, just open up the guitar, and then it goes to the F sharp, where you bar across the second fret and put your pinky finger on the second string fifth fret. And then after that one run where it goes to the C sharp minor, it's getting very bright all of a sudden, then it repeats back to the G sharp minor, then back to the the A chord that we talked about from earlier, then back down to the G, then back down to the F sharp, before returning to the intro chords of 